Hey guys, welcome back to another, to a new, new mini Let's Play that I'm starting today. Called Victoria 2 Apocalypse. <laughs> so guys, yesterday while I was just finicking around with different stuff and, you know, just generally kind of thinking, gosh, I haven't done a Victoria 2 video in a long time. Like, it's been like two weeks. That's a, that's a long time in YouTube. In YouTube world, so I was like, okay, you know, I want to come back to this. I want to get back to a Victoria to want to get back to a Victoria game, but I'm kind of, I'm a little bit um worn out from vanilla, and I'm a little bit like, you know, I was a little bit sick of pink of playing PDM because you know I've kind of always seen the events and you kind of already know how to do it and yada yada yada. So I was just looking at all these other YouTubers and looking at different mods on the internet and. I stumbled upon this mod where it combined two of the greatest things ever Zombie Apocalypse with Victoria 2. <laughs> oh my goodness, and from that, I had to check it out. Um, now, apparently, from what I can see, it doesn't really have anything new and new added to it in the main screen or anything. You can't, in fact, you can't even tell it's a zombie apocalypse world until you actually get in the game. And, by the way, the nation I chose to play as during the zombie apocalypse is Two Sicilies. Because, who has ever heard of the Italians surviving a zombie apocalypse? And I'm not being, that's not me being like, jokingly around. I mean, literally, we do not, most of the time in America, America, we don't hear about anyone else fall into a zombie apocalypse, apocalypse except the USA. We also sometimes hear that Britain, Britain falls to a zombie apocalypse and maybe Russia, but we never hear about what happens to the Italians. What do they do during the zombie apocalypse? Well, those questions are going to be answered in this Let's Play, so let's get in the game. I'm going to click off so you guys will be in the game, so let me... Uh, I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so as you can see, this looks like a very, very normal game of Victoria 2. And it would be, except for the fact there's going to be massive amounts of weird stuff that's going to happen. So I'm just going to go instantly start protecting my border. Because as you guys will see here soon, this, this is the... Stuff's about to get real, and I'm gonna need to have everything up to um, protection and the best. It's this is this bar gets really hectic. I'm not even I'm not even joking, you guys. And over here, I'm going to be encouraging capitalists. Do we want capitalists yet? No, we don't. We want to be encouraging clergymen, just so we can start getting. No way, our list is actually pretty good. What do we need? What's our administrative? Oh shoot, yeah, let's encourage some bureaucrats. Encourage bureaucrats there, and I guess encourage bureaucrats there. That way we can get our capital up and running and everything. Alright. So basically, guys, normal start date, January 1st, 18th, 1836. Nothing's really happening. Nothing's really going on. In fact, we're doing a nice, calm day. And, you know, I'm also going to do some technologies. What should I get? I probably should get muzzle, muzzle bloated rifles. Uh, yeah. It's going to be more important that I do this kind of stuff than anything. But... And unlike a normal Victoria 2, there's a special event that appears. The Mysterious Plague. One of our ambassadors report that a strange plague broke out in, a, in some re remote location. Through nobody's important, important really cares, there are some who claim that this is the resurgence of the legendary Solomon virus and add a sign of the coming rapture. A passage from Zerachiah, oh my goodness, the Bible, Bible verse, describes it as such. This will be the plague the Lord strikes all people who are warned against Jerusalem. Their flesh shall not while they stand on their feet, and their eyes will not root in their sockets, and their tongues will not rot in their mouths. On the day a large-scale panic from the Lord will spread among them. One piece person will grab the hand of another and will attack the other. And my response to this is, I'll be in the chapel. <laughs> Alright, so... Apparently what it seems like, the zombie apocalypse has broken out in Hangover. That seems to be the first country it breaks out in. And basically what the zombie apocalypse does is it spawns a army. It depends sometimes on the size, but usually spawns a big gigantic army in the, in the homeland country. So, um, yeah. And usually that country will fall pretty quickly. So, that's what usually happens. And... You know, I bet some of you guys are thinking, well, then how does it spread? Because, you know, if you were just to request a zombie apocalypse thing right here, then it's basically over, right? Right? No. Because basically what happens is that that event that you just saw, it will spawn around the world. And it's going to hit us here soon, too. 
and gosh dang it why are we not making any money seriously what is okay okay I can I for once I'm actually going to need money and I'm going to need my land cost of trade supply you know what for once I don't really care yeah let's put all of our military down get that get all of our ships down ships are actually not that important in this game at this point and this current in this current point of the game it's not that important and where is my timer one second okay so yeah when I say a couple couple seconds I also mean I should have also paused it so that we didn't speed up time a little bit but that's okay and this mod you'll soon realize that the first couple turns aren't that important it's the turns that come later that are going to potentially mean the, the difference between life or death and as you can see our production is not the best but I'm going to turn down education because I'm I'm, I'm really kidding you not people we really do need to get our economy up and running and make sure our army is as strong as possible because this is going to get really quite hectic and I mean really quick so an age of liberalism <laughs> and this is the event that will hail in the new dawn of the of the apocalypse everyone it's because we got the it's because we got liberalism in power oh gosh so now we're all mad at liberals that's good to note and I should probably be looking at my army to make sure it's actually strong um that's a good well balanced army that's not really a really good balanced army but it has guards in it which is kind of weird we shouldn't have guards at the beginning of the game but okay I'll accept it so yeah let's just fast forward a little bit and Right now, I am Harold. A new day has been calculating in the Harold. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's just become. Let's just aggravate all all little liberals. Because right now, I don't care about lazy fair. So, anyways, um, can I also build anything? Yes, I could build something, but I actually don't have enough money to. Well, let's see. I need to. If I was to build anything, what would I need? I need something that actually make money. Uh, our daily output. That's, that's the daily output, everyone. Not how much you're gonna make money. Uh, current funds. Some of these are just way too expensive, but that's not what that's not what we're gonna be focusing on right now. We just have to be. I'm just making money right now, which is good. In fact, we could probably get back some of our stuff. Like we could probably get a better administration back into power, so that we can start gaining more stuff. So, anyways, um. Oh, the watch on nippers! Those bloody revolutionaries! Oh, gosh. Oh, wow. I'm surprised that nothing's really... No, wait, wait. Some... Oh, wait. I think, we're... I think we're starting to see something happen. Yes! All right. So, basically, like I said, guys, earlier, is that the zombies start to spawn as rebels. And, basically, these rebels are as powerful as the nation they came from. So, some, of... some zombies might be more tougher to kill than others. Depending on where you live, like zombies in China will be way harder to kill than zombies in like. In fact, don't ever play as China; they would be a terrible. Actually, that'd be a fun nation to play as, but they will spawn massive amounts of rebels, and you guys will see. I mean, we're just in the very beginnings of the game. You guys can always see it's starting to happen. You guys can always see it's starting to happen. Fury, liberal agitation removed from Frogger. Good. I don't even know why the liberals are mad at me, but anyways, one region has always been. Wow. Huh. I think there actually might be hope for this world because I don't think the zombie apocalypse is spreading. Wow. Never mind! Oh! <laughs> as soon as I said that! Okay. Okay. Okay, guys. A mysterious plague. They call it the Solomon virus. It trails on the bloodstream, enters the brain, and uses the cells of the frontier lobe to replicate. However, this section of the brain is destroyed in the process and the body function cease. Alive but dormant, the brain is slowly transformed the virus into a completely new organ whose more notable trait is the independence from oxygen. By removing this all-important all resource, the body is no longer dependent on the complex support mechanism such as the heart and lungs. Once mutation is complete, the new organism reanimates the body to transfer the virus. Historically, outbreaks of the virus were few and far between, occurring infrequently in ancient Egypt, Israel, and even noted to become from the Roman order of XXXVII and the construction of Hadrian's Wall. Some of the most recent, recent cases include the mysterious disappearance of the Roanoke Island in 1587 and, and a 72 outbreak on Lucian and Caribbean. This, of course, until today. Oh no. So guys, I didn't mean to morph into a southern 
like kind of a sudden draw at the end, but that means basically every other country in the world is getting that event, which means now our entire land is dis susceptible to a zombie outbreak, which it will, don't worry. And we will have a zombie outbreak at some point, and I will hate it, and I will be like, why does this happen to me? <laughs> so, um, I have to start thinking about what we should start producing, um, because, oh my goodness, already starting to attack! Yeah, this is the first zombie outbreak we had, um, we were easily able to control it, it doesn't seem like it was a, um, major one, which is nice, you, def you definitely want to make sure that you keep all the major ones off your continent, and we have a good sulfide deposit, I did not realize that, so, maybe Sicily and Sicily, um, is that Sicily? Is that the reason Sicily? Yes, it is. Um, what we'll do here is, um, we'll actually build a good factory of, um, of, uh, ammunition. I mean, this could actually be a good place to build an ammunition shop. The only thing we don't have is, uh, is that actually, actually, wait, we have to do even basic, basic economics. We should probably get everything else tampered up before we start doing all the advanced stuff. So, let's see. Um, this is our first region, let's just try to, in our main region of Puglia, let's just try to build something that's going to make us money, glass usually makes you a lot of money, especially when one's going to go down, so let's just do, let's just make a glass factory, there we go, I finally made a decision and we killed the first zombie wave, good, our country is able to defeat zombies, that is a good thing to note, but, um, hangover seems to be falling a little bit to the zombie horde. Not necessarily a good sign, but the watch on Napoles bloody revolutionaries. <laughs> uh, guys, I think we should be less worried about the revolutionaries and the possible change of the government than the fact that there could be zombies attacking us at any second. <laughs> nope, never mind, just don't listen to me. Just, just keep on fighting the revolutionaries and holy shoot, they attack Tuscany and they're gonna be moving down. So yeah, it seems like we already have a zombie threat right on our borders. Um, this is, like I said, this is one of the, this is going to be a really, really hard thing. Um, the, the papal state should fall. Like, that's not me being mean or anything, but the papal state should fall. And I'm going to build more army men. Uh, let's build some, some Huskrawls, um, for this army right here. That way it just balance out a little bit better. I know it's not the best, but it's gonna balance out just a little bit better. We don't have such a bad stuff, um... Yeah, I'm not going to extend any kind of factories just yet. And are we getting any troop? Are we getting anyone over here? Because we're gonna need some. And oh gosh, yeah, the zombies. Okay, now you guys can start seeing this. The zombie outbreak, as I said, is starting to take over. It's starting to take over. This is just the beginning, guys. As they say in those classic movies, and uh, this is just the beginning. And there we go. The zombies have risen up in one of my provinces. I have to see. Oh shoot. Okay. These, okay, so I'm gonna have to combine both of my units as quickly as possible and go kill these guys. Because what happens, guys, is if they conquer a region, then they get that region. Well, not only do they get that region, but they also get manpower from that region. And then they start destroying your manpower. Oh, come on, guys, get them, get them before they, before they seize my stuff down. Yes. Okay, good, good zombie killers. Yes. All right, I'm gonna name you guys the zombie killers. Okay. Because if they conquer that region, like I said, your population goes down in that one region, and then you start to slowly die. And I'm going to name these the Zombie Killers. So, the Zombie Killers. There we go. My country now knows that we are in a state of emergency, and so now we have the Zombie Killers on the job. I have to go deploy towards the border again. Alright, quickly guys, go back to the border. I'm not sure how well... Thank you! Finally, this, they're finally starting to realize that the liberals aren't that important in this. This is a national security thing right now going on. I mean, we have zombies! Oh gosh! And, yeah, as you guys can see, this is... I'm really not joking you. It's... You're never gonna... China would be a terrible nation to play as. It has way too much population for its own good. Um, and by now, what we could do is we could declare a state of emergency. There's one thing this mod does add, and that is it could add a state of emergency thing, which means what we basically do is we change our government to no voting and a basically a dictatorship. But what I find is that, you know what? I'm not that kind of person and I don't really care about that much and holy shoot, we can build a lot of units now. 
Keep building, guys! Save ourselves! <laughs> I'm really not slowing down my production. If I can build as many units as, as I want, then I'm going to. Alright, um... We do need a good steel factory, but I don't think we have any coal. So I can't really... I'm building up basic economics right now. Um... Look at this still, it would be good if, for this region right here. Um... But... We need to kind of figure out... We need to kind of figure out... Do we want a furniture factory? Well, we need if we need furniture, we need lumber, and to get lumber, we're gonna need other stuff. Uh, we could just build a paper mill. Paper mills. Oh, daily output require daily inputs. Ooh, that's not gonna make me money. Require daily. Oh, wow, that's gonna make me a lot of money. <laughs> Are you sure? Uh, okay, I'm gonna. You know what? I'm gonna not build anything because I think I'm. I think. I'm just slightly bit, a little bit too rusty at this game because I don't remember exactly all the mechanics to this. And apparently, you guys are starting to get all mad at me for having high taxes. But you know what? I'm protecting, I'm protecting you right now. So you know what? The least you guys can do is thank me that I am doing the best I can to try to make sure we do not die from a horde. Because as you guys can see, there's a horde right there, and it wants to kill you. And I should mention right now. The zombie movement is basically they will conquer once they're done with one region or one country, they will move on to the next region or country. So that means you could potentially be in an all-out state war forever and ever. And as you guys can see, I think they're moving in to go conquer Rome. And I could also mention I could go save I could go save the nation right next to me and I could go save the Pope. But there is kind of a little bit in me saying, why should I go save the Pope? Not for religious reasons or anything like that. I'm thinking of that just because I'm like, he's like, a, he's like basically a threat to me. And if they go, oh shoot! Okay, so the zombies are starting to feel very, are starting to feel very, uh... As you guys can see, the zombies get very, very, uh... Um... Brave and they start to attack you even when you don't even expect it. Um, zombies are coming after me, and I'm not. I'm not liking this at all. Like they, they are. They are rapidly becoming a nuisance. Oh shyster, I have to run. Okay, you guys get out of there. You guys get out of there. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That. Okay. What I can do? Save myself as I'm going to send this army right over here. And we're gonna go combine. Use this army to go crush the rest of the zombies here. Okay, and oh shoot, here comes more zombies. Yep, this is going to be a battle, guys. It's as you, it's as you can see, you, know, you can now see what I kind of mean. These guys literally will attack you from everywhere. They all, they all have really good mechanics. Like, these guys know how to group up, know how to attack, and know how to attack in lo large numbers. I don't know why they're gonna, it's gonna attack me right there. That's a pretty stupid idea. I have like 49k men. But I'm gonna hit them right here so that we can get that down. Okay. And then I'm going to buy the men here, so that they will both heal instantaneously. We'll get some more men right over here on this border. Send in the troops! Alright, and then we're just gonna hug our base right here, cause... Oh gosh, cause we need to, we need to kind of lighten up the load. And apparently Austria's doing really well with the zombie apocalypse, and China's basically dead. <laughs> okay, so China's basically dead, but the two Sicilies is surviving this. Um... I could declare the state emergency. I'm still not going to do that. Um, I'm actually going to. I'm actually going to lower taxes just a wee bit. Not by very much, so I'm not that nice. But we can. I also can do imported taxes for a little bit, and these guys are terrible. Okay. Give me some craftsmen here as quickly as possible. We need to get some workers. We need to make everyone start to work. Send in the troops. You guys are just wanting me to keep killing off all my population, don't you? Especially during a zombie apocalypse! Doesn't seem very smart, but yeah, as you guys can see, um... Germany's almost basically fallen, and that isn't good. Germany falling isn't necessarily the greatest thing, the greatest thing ever, because that means all their zombies are going to start running ragged around the world. Which is not good. That means it's going to mean a lot more, a lot more trouble for us, so... I'm getting technology that is definitely more time to help us out in this, because this could definitely mean a lot of difference between life and death. Alright, and I got 15, 31 kids, anything I can do. Build more soldiers! <laughs> the answer to everything, build more soldiers! Okay, um, let's see, I'm gonna build one horseman unit, so that unit will go right there. 
Uh, actually, we'll need one other horseman unit just to balance out the two armies. Get that right there. There we go. Now, I know I'm building a very cheap unit, but sometimes cheap units are going to have to be made to survive the zombie apocalypse. Oh, gosh. Okay, so Austria is seeming, it seems like the major powers are starting to keep the empires together, which is pretty cool. Pretty cool, I'm not going to deny that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to build anti-zombie forts right here on the border. Just so that we can... Just so that we can get... Oh, shyster! I did not see that. Okay. Bloody revolution! Okay, so, as you guys can see, a zombie broke... A zombie outbreak broke out in the same exact place. I'm going to have to really monitor that. But, yeah. They're trying... The zombies are definitely trying to get into my land. But I am fighting back with all I can. My nation is not giving up. And the Pope? The Pope is still alive? Uh, disregard anything I said about not coming and saving you. Please. I don't want to die. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, so let's get that. Let's get this. Okay. Now we got all of our stuff right here and... Yep, it seems like Austria is falling from the zombie hordes. Looks like they are going... Yeah, I think they're about to go. Gosh, they, they fought for a long time and then Russia... It's about to go too. Oh gosh, everyone's about to go. This is all turning into a very bad crisis, except for the Pope. Somehow the Pope is living. I don't know if that's a good. Ah oh, no! Okay, more zombies. Okay, so you guys go down here, go kill the zombies. Um, declare a state of emergency. Uh, don't really care about that whole only landed stuff, but just send in the troops. Do -do -do -do. Just send in the troops, okay, kill them, kill those zombies, kill that zombie outbreak. In fact, I might even keep an army just down there, just to make sure that we have an army. Because it seems like they keep spawning in this exact region. Which means to tell me that either my people are unhealthy right here, or they really, really gotta stop trading with the outside. Oh, great, I just saw a horde move in, didn't I? Oh, no, it's like a 27 big stack. I'm gonna have to go send my men in to go block them. Because once we start getting forts, and I think we'll be able to stay safe in our little, you know, peninsula here. Hopefully they'll move down and not to me. Thank you for moving down and not to me. Um, the Pope is about to... I don't know how the Pope is going to deal with this. This looks like the Pope's going to die. And the rest of the world, it looks like it's about to die. France looks like it's getting destructively destroyed. Um, destructively destroyed. That's a very good word. Um, yeah, the world is falling. All the major powers are starting to fall, except for UK, the UK and Japan. I think that just kind of be expected because they're on their own little island peninsula thing, so they can kind of like hide it out, I guess. Um, South America is basically gone for. Um, Mexico and America seem to be actually surviving this relatively well. Oh, I'm kind of shocked. Um, gosh. Uh, okay. So two more troops, which is something I'm gonna do. Let's see. So let's see, I'll need cannons now on that. Let's build some more cannons. Because that's what I need in this army over here. And over here, I can build six, three, one, five, two, one. Just get two cannons right here and I'll be able to build fine. Okay. I think army is definitely powerful enough to defeat a lot of zombies, but the zombies, as you guys can see, have just exploded they are starting to take over everything and russia <laughs> fell apart pretty quickly oh gosh russia you guys are not having a good day are you no they aren't the answer is no they are not and oh great liberal agitation what will we ever do oh gosh so guys this is the end of times it's the end of times and the pope is still alive what the heck Okay, now I'm just questioning why the heck is the Pope still alive? I'm no longer questioning... I'm no longer questioning the fact how he's still doing anything. I'm just questioning why is he still alive? Because he's... Literally, that nation should have died already. He's tidier than me and has a, has a worse... Uh, has a worse workforce than me. How is he not dead? Okay, I'm going to build... Let's just build laborers. Why not? <laughs> oh, gosh. And bureaucrats. Yeah, let's get some bureaucrats here. Because we're going to have to get... Strong administration power, and yep, as you guys can see, I have high militancy everywhere due to the fact that the zombies breaking out everywhere. But oh my goodness, that is a big, gigantic army. 
That is a big, gigantic army. Okay, and we just got our new cannons. Put them on the border quickly. Quickly! Yes! Oh, shoot, they just morphed into 66. <laughs> okay. They morphed into 66 men when my back was turned. That's good to know. That is good to know. So. Oh, gosh. They are hopefully not moving towards me. Yes! Move away, zombies! Don't attack me! I am not the threat to you, trust me. And, yeah. Yeah. Uh, UK and I are just the only two nations that are really staying in the zombie apocalypse. And, of course, more militancy is going to help me out. And I'm going to move this army over here. We'll consider it. We'll consider whatever you guys are talking about. Um, even without a zombie apocalypse, I'm still killing off, like, 1.6 of my population a turn. Which is accumulated to like billions and millions since I have such a small region. But I'm about to get army professionalism, which should help my country out a lot. Um, let them eat cake, everyone. Let them eat cake. Just let them eat cake. I don't even care what else they eat. They don't need to eat bread. They don't need to eat um, pasta or anything like that. They just need to eat cake. That's the way everything does. Okay, so let's see strategic bonuses. I think I'm now going to start working on. Idealism, because I'm just gonna, I don't know why, I just, I work on idealism. It helps me take up things faster. And I'm sorry guys, but you guys are gonna have to figure out what happens after you, after the zombies own all this land. I didn't even get to explain that yet. So guys, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in another episode. Bye.